Hey traders from around the world, this is Robert Thompson III with Real Life Trading, also known as RT3, and welcome to the video. In today's episode, we're going to dive into the powerful analysis tool provided by TastyTrade and explore how it can revolutionize your trading decisions. Let's dive in. All right, we're back. Here we are. We're in the broker. And first off, let's take a closer look at what the Tasty Trade Analysis Tool is all about. Uh, this whole platform offers a pretty wide range of features that can help you analyze different options trading strategies, but also there's a huge visual component to it, which is what I love about Tasty Trade in particular. And whether you're into iron condors or strangles or other complex trades, diagonals, whatever, uh, we can pretty much cover the whole the whole gamut here. So one of the mm, standout aspects of the Tasty Trade analysis tool is its really impressive level of customization. So you have the freedom to tweak various parameters and really instantly see how they impact your trades. And let's just, uh, I'm going to show you a couple examples of this. Let's just do a good old fashioned uh, debit spread vertical on SPY here. And um, I'm just going to uh, throw this in here so you can kind of see, you know, what it would look like. And let's kind of bring this down a little bit. This is not really a trading or, or strategy video. We're just looking at the platform. So, you know buying calls on spy is neither here nor there nor relevant to what we're doing here all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click this analysis button here all right so that's not always on by default i'm just going to unclick it and you'll see that all of the little tools go away but if you click the analysis button it kind of throws off a uh throws out another column here all right this column is is just it you can it's completely customizable so you can either have it pop out like that or you can anchor it out so it never goes away which is what i think i'll probably do for the remainder of this video at least uh you can also completely pop it out altogether so that it is its own screen if you're multi-screening that can be useful as well then you can anchor it back in all right so Obviously, when you're using analysis, there's a whole analysis tab here, all right? And these tools kind of tie together, all right? So we'll take a look at that in a minute. As I said, I think we'll just keep this popped out so it doesn't flip out on us. Now, you might be wondering, well, all I'm looking at is just an option chain. You know, where's the rest of it? How do I get a look at all of these tools? And the answer is you simply have to hit this curve button right here. All right, so the two together create the full experience, if you will, of the analysis tool. So I'm going to push that button and now you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so I was talking about the customization. I can basically see kind of what would happen to this trade if certain things were to take place. All right, so first of all, let's take let's just play with the stock price. Uh, this is as of today, uh, the last posted fill on SPY was uh, four eleven sixteen. Okay, so what if I want to know what happens if SPY goes to four hundred and thirty? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this little box here that says Theo spot price, which basically stands for theoretical stock price, right? So I just check that box and we're going to type in 430 and you can further customize it. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the position would be theoretically profitable at that point, right? Uh, and so you can adjust this. And one of the easy ways to adjust this is right here you can actually just drag and drop the stock price with that little blue marker there all right so we go up and up and as i move that you'll notice how the p l results change okay so you can get a quick snapshot based on what the stock price is doing of how your option trade would perform all right 
Now, the other thing that's important to know is you can change the time and date. All right, so all of this is basically today. What if SPY were to go to 4.30 today? But what if I wanted to know, okay, what if it took a month for SPY to get there? Okay, let's go to 4.30 in a month. All right, well, there you go. All right, I would, I'd be up, but maybe not by as much as I would like, right? So, okay, well, I can tell by the trade window that max profit here is $248. All right, so what if I want to know, all right, how far does SPY have to move to give me $248? All right, so let's just grab the slider here and away we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's pretty close. That seems a little ridiculous, but 490 by June 30th. All right according to this analysis but the date is critical in option trading right like if spy were to get to there uh much sooner you know it it would go faster all right and uh, the other thing you'll notice is that you can change your profit and loss graph based on expiration or theoretical. So as you're playing with the stock price, once again, let's just say stock uh, SPY goes up to 430 and it does it by the end of next week, all right, June 2nd. Okay, well, now you can see, the other reason, by the way, just so you guys know, the other reason it took such a big move to get profitable on this trade is because uh, we're starting pretty far out of the money, all right? So what if we were to move this back here? You'd probably see a more substantial impact on the stock, on the price based on the movement, right? So if we go to 430, no, not so much. Option prices just not super awesome in SPY right now. At expiration, In order to make max profit on this trade, which is $169, SPY has to get to like 470, 480. All right, so maybe calls on SPY isn't the best strategy right now, but this is how you would use the tool. Adjust the stock price, you can adjust the date. Uh, if you just wanna see kind of where we're at right now, then you would, uh, you would simply uncheck the boxes, set today's date, etc. All right, and then you can click these buttons here. You can click these buttons here to basically show you kind of what the theoretical price movement would look like, or you can go with at expiration, okay? What are your break-evens? And that's really all you're really looking for here, all right? You can tell, let's just zoom in a little bit here. You can tell that your break even is right here at around oh $412.34. And as long as SPY at expiration gets above four hundred and about fourteen dollars, and I'm just looking uh, I'm just looking at the little price box as I scroll along the uh, the price axis here, right? See that? See that? So at expiration, I can make maximum profit if SPY is above $414. Now, obviously, these options don't expire until June 21st. Okay, so that is, that's kind of what the expiration cycle looks like. And if you use theoretical, it's where you start changing dates and times and, you know, manipulating the results a little bit. All right. Now, some of this stuff also gets a little wonky in after hours because they do some back end stuff to their database. That can also be a factor. The other thing that's really, really interesting about the Tasty Trade Analysis tool is you can change the implied volatilities of each individual contract. All right. Now, this this is usually much more relevant in strategies where you are selling options. All right, so let's just say I wanted to do a strangle of 15 delta strangle on SPY. Um, psh, 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 there we go. And then I come up here, do this. All right, and I want to know, all right, I think that the IV rank, I think that the IV is much more inflated on puts than it is on calls, right? Okay, fine. Well, what you could do then is 
you can change these implied volatility choices down here on a per contract basis. You simply check this box here that says use per contract IVs. All right, so now it's just the IV for the two strikes. And guess what? The implied volatility is much lower or excuse me, much higher than it is on the calls. It's much higher on the puts, which is not uncommon, all right, because usually people are more terrified of a downside move, okay? So this is what the strangle looks like when you put it into the curve mode here. And you can basically see how as long as the stock stays in between my two strikes, I make money. Uh, anything outside of that is not fun. All right, hedging must be will have to become involved <laughs> if that's the case. But what if um, something happens? I don't know, a big event or whatever, and we get a big vol crush that drastically affects the puts much more than the calls. Let's say we get a five. Uh, uh, we, the volatility gets crushed by twenty five percent. So let's say we would drop this by six percent. You could change the IV rank or the IV of the put contract itself. All right, so you could bring it down from 2296 to 1696. Well, you can see that if that were to happen, you'd have a nice little profit there, even if the stock didn't move at all. What if we were to get a little bit of a down move? Well, we can use the theoretical price. Let's say we dropped by 10% and then there was a big explosion of IV because people were freaking out. Let's say there was a 5% uh, explosion of IV. Well, if that happened, you'd be not so happy. All right, that's this is all based on this happening today. All right, what if that what if it took longer? You know, the, the longer you further you go out in time, the more your theoretical result starts to mirror what will happen at expiration, which is this price graph you're seeing here. Again, I can switch it back to theoretical and it'll kind of match what you're what you're manipulating on the side here. OK, so this is the big customization of how this feature works. Um, this whole visual thing is unique to Tasty Trade. Now, I know that Thinkorswim has some of this on here, but the visual layout of how this looks is as clear and concise as anything I've seen out there. And uh, I personally find it really, really helpful, super useful for just visualizing your trades got a complex trade and you don't quite understand it you know uh, what if I want to do a poor man's covered call all right so I would uh, buy a call and then I would sell a another call above that what does that even look like well drop it into curve mode and now you can see all right you can see that when if and when the stock price goes up you make money all the way up here but it's capped all right that's why it's flat because once you get past this call price here, you're not going much further, all right? And then obviously down here, you have a defined uh, amount that you can lose because this is a debit trade. So the debit is the, the amount you can lose. All right, so again, I didn't want to break down exact strategies. This is mostly about Tastyworks analysis tool, but uh, you get the idea, all right? The curve mode just takes all these curves and graphs and really helps you visualize the potential outcomes. You can quickly identify break-even points, profit zones, maximum potential gains and losses. It just really simplifies all the different complicated things that are going on there. What's really cool too is you can drop these into existing positions and put it all together like in one big soup. So let's say you had a poor man's cover call on and suddenly it's like starting to tank on you. Oh my gosh, I got a hedge. Let me sell some bear call spreads against this thing. All right, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to the, the maybe like the 40 delta just because the premium in here sucks right now. What would it what would it look like if I were to sell calls? against my position well as you can see what that would do is kind of reduce your maximum loss up to a certain point now eventually if it just kept tanking the call can only protect you by so much you'd actually start to have to do more hedging you'd have to roll your calls down or keep or, or add more spreads or something but it changed the curve from this 
to creating a little shelf here. So as long as buy only goes down so much, you basically cut your max loss in half. All right, pretty cool. And you can easily see that here with the with the curve mode and how that works. All right, so that's pretty neat. You can kind of mix it all up in a soup pot and get a good visual of where your break evens and, and stops and, and that type of thing are. Now, not necessarily stops, but yeah, you get it. So anyway, whether you're an experienced trader looking to fine tune your strategies or you're just a beginner and you want to play around with all of the options, you're seeking to learn the ropes, the Tasty Trade Analysis tool is a game changer. It's really easy to use. The customization options are extremely robust. You can see the effects of the different Greeks, expiration cycles, PL graphs, all of that's customizable up here. All right, you can change all of the, the, the Greeks and kind of see their curve and how they're laying out there. Um, if you are a super duper math nerd, okay, and uh, the visually appealing curve mode provides you with a holistic view of your trading altogether, empowering you to make better decisions. So if you're serious about taking your trading to new heights and really diving into option trading at a high level, I highly recommend checking out the Taste Trade Analysis tool. It's powerful. It's got great features, and it's definitely going to help you get a better understanding of the markets and what's going on. Thanks for watching today's video. If you found this information helpful, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. Subscribe to our channel for more trading insights, trade smart, trade profitable, and most importantly, love life, live life, and trade it. RT3 signing off.